Every business is different, so every business should have a unique looking invoice. I'm Justine Lackey from Good Sense Bookkeeping, and I'm gonna teach you how to customize invoices in QuickBooks Online. In this quick tip video, we are going to learn how to customize an invoice in QuickBooks Online. And that's super easy to do. All you're gonna do is navigate on up to your gear icon, over to the Your Company menu, and down to Custom Form Styles. You can quickly customize an invoice by clicking the New Style button on the top right-hand side of the screen. QuickBooks Online actually allows you to customize your invoice, your estimate, and your sales receipt. Once you learn how to customize one of these forms, the tools that you learn will apply to customizing all of these forms. In this video, we're going to look at customizing invoices. When you arrive to the Customize Invoice screen, you're going to land on this Design tab. And this is where you're going to start when you begin the customizing invoice process. First, you can start by clicking one of the templates that QuickBooks Online provides to you. This is going to be your base, and then you're going to use these other tools to customize exactly the look and feel. So I'm going to choose the Airy option. I have uploaded the logo by clicking the plus button and it'll bring you to, you know, you can direct you to what, which image you want to pick up on your desktop or in your Dropbox. I'm going to select the size that I'd like for my logo and I think the large looks pretty good. Because Good Sense works with money, I'm going to make all of the highlights in green. I happen to like Helvetica as a font, but I'll select a larger size. And I don't actually print invoices, but if I was going to do that, this is how I would align it on my paper. QuickBooks Online also allows you to edit the content or the columns on this invoice. You do that by selecting the content tab and then clicking on the pencils. So for example, you could take out form names. If you click this pencil button, perhaps you don't want the quantity and rate to appear. In the email section, I can customize the default email that is sent to my clients when I email the invoice from QuickBooks Online. And from the Payments tab, I can set up Intuit's Merchant Services which will allow my customers to click a link and easily pay an invoice online that is emailed to them. I dive really deeply into all of these sections in my QuickBooks Online Mastery course. I hope you found this quick tip helpful. This is Justine Lackey from Good Sense Bookkeeping and I hope you enjoyed this tip. For more savvy ways to use QuickBooks Online and bite-sized morsels to help you more effectively manage your business, Subscribe to our channel and share this with your friends. For more incredible resources, head on over to goodsensebookkeeping.com.